So it's um, quite interesting. In the adapt and in the follow-up uh, adapt cycle trial, we have looked on the clinical risk of patients with hormone receptor positive HER2 negative disease. And in patients with intermediate to high clinical risk, we have done genomic testing by oncotype DX on the core biopsy and endocrine assessment for after two or four weeks of preoperative endocrine treatment according to investigator decision. And in the ADAPT trial, we have recommended to, or, um, uh, to omit chemotherapy in case of recurrence code 12 to 25 and up to, up, to, up to three positive lymph nodes. So all patients with recurrence code below 12, we are treated by endocrine therapy alone. All patients with recurrence code 12 to 25, we are treated by chemotherapy according to their endocrine response status and all patients with recurrence score more than 25 we are treated by chemotherapy. In the ADAPT cycle trial as follow-up trial we have offered the randomization to intensif intensified endocrine treatment by combination of, of aromatase inhibitors plus ovarian function suppression and premenopausal women and ribociclib compared to chemotherapy to this patient's group and also in patients, for example, with recurrence score more than 25 and endocrine responders up to, five, up, to, up to three positive lymph nodes. So we have looked also on the higher risk population. And now we have presented, for today we have presented the results of the preoperative phase of, this, of, of both trials. So from the ADAPT trial and from the screening cohort of the ADAPT cycle trial and uh, about 3,300 patients from the ADAPT trial and about 2,200 patients from the ADAPT cycle trial were included in this analysis. And we have looked on endocrine response rates in patients according to their age and menopausal status and recurrent score in both trials. And we have observed a very interesting, uh, a very interesting thing. In the ADAPT trial, most patients were treated by tamoxifen alone for two to fix four weeks before the surgery. And in this case, we have endocrine responder status in about 50% in recurrent score was zero to 25, and about 20% in, in, in patients who had recurrent score more than 25. We know from the ADAPT trials that this, this endocrine responder status is very important for prognosis of patients and chemotherapy can be safely omitted if you have low or intermediate genomic risk and endocrine response, yet in even in case if there are more than, uh, more than one positive lymph node. But again, in the ADAPT trial, patients did not get ovarian function suppression in this preoperative setting. In the ADAPT cycle trial, we have about 30% of patients who were treated by combination of tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitors plus ovarian function suppression in this period of time of two to four weeks before the surgery. And we have seen that the endocrine response rates were increased from this 40 or 20 percent up to 80 percent if ovarian function suppression was added and this we are the similar ranges of endocrine response as we are observed in the postmenopausal situation and this question may be very very important for our patients in the routine because you have completely different biology and different prognosis in premenopausal women if you have endocrine responders and endocrine non-responders and this results may, may help to guide you to give or not to give chemotherapy. If you have a lot of other factors, clinical risk, genomic risk, and endocrine responder status, you may be able to have the best decision for the patients, which intensity of adjuvant treatment do you need in this case?